Hello and welcome to another exciting DaVinci Resolve tutorial. Every frame a painting. Now wait a minute. I have heard this somewhere. Yes, but this has nothing to do with that YouTube channel. In this interesting DaVinci Resolve tutorial, we are going to look into how to turn an image or a video into almost a painting, like a watercolor painting. Well, I have seen a lot of tutorials on YouTube where they turn images into a realistic painting in Adobe Photoshop. I have always wondered about doing it inside Resolve and having messing up with the tools for quite a bit of time. And I think I have come close to achieving a similar kind of effect in DaVinci Resolve Studio using only the inbuilt tools without the use of any external plugins. Of course, there are some kind of inbuilt OFX effects like watercolor, abstraction, stylize, but using it alone did not give a usable result as you very well know about that. Check out this method and let me know what you think about this. Now, before we dive into the tutorial, check this out. Let's dive in to see how this effect is made. So now once you have done all your editing, I have these two files, watercolor texture and paper texture. You need to add the watercolor texture file on top of your edits to which the effect needs to be applied and select the watercolor texture and Click and go to the inspector tab and in the composite, set the composite mode to multiply and set the opacity to around somewhere around 16. Then let's move on to the color page. And I have the node tree ready and let me explain each and every node. So the first node, I am not doing anything here and I am adding a layer mixer node here. So in this node, I add a stylize OFX plugin, it's called stylize, need to add this to this node and in the settings, you need to set the styles to feather and set the style scale to 2 with a global blend of around 0.8 to 6. And in the other node, you need to change the color space to HSV. You need to disable the channels 1 and 3. So you only have the saturation channel enabled so and you go to the RGB mixer and pull this slider in the green output to the top so this is for the color density it gives you much richer colors like a painting and on this node you right click and set the composite mode to color and once you set that, you get an effect like this. Now add another node and add the OFX plugin watercolor, which is available under Resolve FX Stylize. And set the channels to luminance only and smoothness to somewhere around 0.002. And that's it, you'll get this effect. So I have added a deflicker 
effect uh, deflector or fx node this is for in case if you are going to rendering it out as a video you might see a lot of flicker in the background so this will effectively remove all the flicker and i have added a sharpening node i have changed the color space to lab and i am sharpening only the luminance of the image by going to this tab and ganging it and bringing this slider down to 0.45 so the image gets much sharper and i have also added a film grain this is to add some texture to the image so as you see if i disable this and enable you can see it adds some kind of texture like that of paintings and set this to around 35 mm and a grain strength of around 0.6 and you get this effect now for the other cuts you can copy the color grade by middle picking on the one which the notary is so we get this effect so it almost looks like a painting and in case if you want more details in the image you can click on the stylize option and increase the style scale to 3 well for most images what i found is the sweet spot is somewhere between 2 and 3 for the stylize option So this is some old footage, old movie actually. <laughs> so. And even for any still images, you can apply this effect. And right now, this doesn't look that good. So what we can do is, in the stylized node, we can increase the style scale higher. Somewhere around 5 or 6. And can reduce the smoothness in watercolor to 0.001 as you see this almost looks like a painting it's pretty detailed this is before and this is after and it's a bit too saturated let's reduce the saturation to around 40 before and after we can add a, another layer of uh, texture just to look make it look like uh, it's painted on a paper because this surface surface it kind of looks smooth so we can go back to the edit page and add an say adjustment clip on top of this and this adjustment like let's go into fusion page and add this paper texture and let's add displace node and connect this to the foreground the imported footage let's reset the global in and out and set it to loop now in the displace node let's set it to xy and let's increase the light power you'll start 
to see uh, the texture coming up. Let's go to 3 and reduce it. It's too strong of an effect. And you can also change the light angle. Now you can see the texture. Now let's go back to the color page. Let's make, make it full screen. And as you see, it looks almost like a painting. Let me disable it. And this is without the effect applied. And this is with the effect applied. It's pretty much detailed if you zoom in. So, hope you like this. And please do subscribe to this channel if you like this video. And do share it with your friends. And let me know in comments if you can improve this effect in any other way. And thank you. Have a great day.